Hello again, YouTube. We still making videos. I know it's Christmas, so we ain't gonna go too crazy with it. But I wanna talk about why, nine reasons why people are skipping these get-togethers, these Christmas get-togethers, these Thanksgiving get-together. A guy told me even that he's gonna go to the casino instead of going to the get-togethers that the people that he know is having. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna give you nine reasons why. Of course, there's more than nine reasons. And y'all see where I'm at? I'm at home. The people I know is having get-togethers too that I'm a skip. No thanks, man. Now, maybe one day that'll change depending on the individuals. But today, nah. So, y'all know I'm gonna do a short on this and we're gonna do the, the extended version of this. I don't know how long, it's gonna be pretty short. Cause it ain't gonna take me that long to give you the nine reasons why people is skipping these get togethers. Y'all be wondering why? Why y'all be trying to be around eight people? Is it they people? I mean, because y'all know I'm the truth, man, right? And after all, isn't somebody being your people judged on their actions and their words? Let's get into this list. The number one reason, insults. He showed and got fat. She showed and got fat. She done lost all that weight. She had a, she had a, Junk in the trunk. This, that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, your hair, why your hair so great? Oh, it look like you getting a ball spot. Your kid, they kids is too wild. You expect kids to just sit there? That's recreation for them. You expect them to just sit there? So the number one reason why people skip out of Get togethers is insults. Nobody want to hear that, man. I mean, people can find ways to be insulted. I can take a sip. I've had people say, now I'm, let me give you an example, right? Let me give you an example. Um, it's too far away. I would have showed you. I had two small bottles of beer, right? And people was like, look at such and such, he drunk. Now y'all keep in mind, I am six foot two in a, in a quarter and I weigh very close to 300. I'm not no small dude. But they were saying, look at him. He drunk. Insults. It's number one. Nobody want to hear that, man. Because then you get to say stuff back. And now you have a conflict. Now, wouldn't it be better at home? Now, I know some of y'all can't have peace at home. Me personally, if you're a guy and you can't have peace at home, then I think you need to remove yourself. Don't let your kids or your wife, girlfriend, nothing take away your peace as a man. Ain't nothing about them worth them being able to take away your peace as a man, especially when you start getting up in age, 40s, 50s, 60s. You're supposed to become more entertained by self, more dependent on self as you get older. Number two, people who don't like them or they do not like are there. Now, what's the natural response to potential conflict? You see, I say this all the time and goofies, people who, again, speaking of insults, People want to say that you're scared. 
when people say you're scared for avoiding conflict, it's something in them that ain't positive towards you. Because they should know that avoidance is the best policy. If you know you're going to get into it with somebody or possibly and you know where they are, why would you go there? But people, it's weird like that, man. Especially these women. These women is always looking for a reason to say a guy is soft. That could be why PNB Rock is gone. She's probably like, no, why are you worried about them? I'm just trying to give me some chicken and waffles. Women don't understand. But then when you go to jail, they get another man. See, when we deal with these women, we always got to deal, like the Bible even say, from a position of understanding. Understanding that they probably don't understand. So if you choose, like, like for instance, I used to get in arguments about, I'm not going to this store. I know who be at this store. I know me. I know all that. You, you think I'm going to let somebody slug me like I'm their wayward girlfriend? Or try to shoot me and not shoot back? All of that can be avoided, man. That's, that's our, like, like, one thing I noticed about the men on my father's side of the family, they are masters at this. Avoidance. Like I got cousins straight with straight goon, then prison time, everything. Say the same thing I say. Man, I ain't going over there around them ninjas. But I bet you his wife, ah, you shut up, man. All you is is a Oh we. Yeah, I know what I was finna say. I'ma get off of that. This weird women try to sometimes try to be more than they are without being more. They think they there to philosophize you. Well, all it takes is a dude with game and they're going to be a little H.O. Easy. So, like I say, number two is people who don't like them or they don't like are there. Now, we're going to go through this list a little fast. Number three, because they have figured out they have figured out the host don't rock with them like that. They always invite you to something, but they ain't even with you like that. They support everybody else. So people be figuring that out, number four, because they know they're going to get into it. Y'all ever had those family members or those people that used to like live in your neighborhood and stuff like that that you just always get into it with? Why bother? I'm comfortable writing my own. Number five, social media. All this stuff, social media, the George Floyd stuff, the Trump stuff, all this stuff. People don't know how to disagree. They're not disagreeable. They don't know how to have alternative viewpoints, yet still get along. So they will bring stuff up or they'll hold stuff against you that you don't post it on Facebook. Stuff like that. Number six, because family just ain't family anymore. For most, it's not the same. Like for most people, family ain't the same. Like when we was kids, man, everybody was tight. Then there's people that you ain't really talked to in the last 10, 15, 20 years like that. And you trying to go around them, you don't know what they're about no more. Number seven, because of how funny acting people are now. I think a lot of that is because of social media. Number eight. Because it's better and more comfortable to stay at home. I can do what I want, listen to what I want, drink what I want. If I want, if I want to drink a whole bottle, I could drink a whole bottle without gossip. You don't know what I'm doing. And number nine, because after a long week at work dealing with those toxic weirdo co-workers, some people don't want to even see more people. They just want to just chill. So these are the nine reasons that I wanted to include as many more why people don't get to get together. It's okay to invite them. 
If somebody invites you, you tell them thank you. And then if you don't want to deal with their get together, you tell them whatever your reason is. Half truth, whole truth. Hey, it is what it is. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is the Truth Man. The channel is No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel.